Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking about on how you can root your Samsung Galaxy 3 smartphone on WX DLIH Jelly Bean 4.1.1 firmware. So this is a Samsung Galaxy 3 smartphone which you are watching it right now on your screen. So before you proceed, first off you need to check it whether you are on the XX DLIH firmware or not. Because this routing firmware which you'll be checking out on the routing guide will only be applicable on the WX DLIH firmware. So to check it, first tap on the menu button and then the settings and then head over to the bottom most part of the screen to select the option of about device and then again head over to the bottom part of the screen to find out the build number which will read as double XDLIH towards the end. So assuming that your device is on the required firmware, now you need to turn off the device so that we can then enter the device in the download mode. So in the meanwhile, download the Odin package in your computer, extract the same, unzip the same and open the Odin executable file in your computer. Ensure that you are having full USB access to read as well as write. By doing that you are ready with the Odin which I have opened in the computer. Let's enter your S3 in the download mode. To do that, you need to first up press the volume down rock key and then press the menu button and holding these two, press the power button to boot the device in the download mode. So once you see this yellow colored triangle, the message will read wherein it will tell you about the consequences of the installation of custom ROM firmware. So just ignore that because if you follow all the instructions mentioned by me, it's, I'm 100% sure that your phone won't go into in any of the mess. Once it's done, volume, press the volume up key. And now, connect your device to the computer with the help of original USB cable which you've got at the time of purchase. Because many of the people have recently connected the BlackBerry cable or some other OS cable which have ended up in trouble. So now, assuming that you have done so, after connecting you'll see that the drivers will be installed and the IDCOM section will turn yellow then ensure that you're using the Odin 3 1.8 file Odin itself and not the Odin 3 dot something nothing and now assuming that you have downloaded the CA fruit package of 6.4 version and I've extracted the same just need to head over to that package CA fruit 6.4 So this is the one which I've downloaded it. After selecting it, click on open. So now, after seeing the package, you just need to click on start. As you can see that, there is a progress bar moving along. And also in the other device, you'll see the progress bar. Your phone now will be rebooted. As you can see that this is a Samsung Galaxy S3 logo. That's an obvious showcase after that Samsung logo will be coming up. So as you can see that the device is now rooted you can see all the applications like root ROM manager CWM or super user which clearly mentions that the routing routing of the device has gone through and your device has now successfully rooted to check additionally to check whether your device is rooted or not you can alternately download the root checker application from the Google Play Store and check on the same whether your device is rooted or not so here you go. So next in the coming articles, we'll be checking out on how you can install the newer versions of custom ROM firmware so that you can make the most out of your device. Stay tuned to Advices Media YouTube channel for more updates.
Thank you.